the false tribute. A man entered a funeral church service unnoticed and joined the queue of men and women who were going to pay their last respect to their dead. That was in front of the church auditorium. When he got to his tent, he saw the dead person and realized that it was himself. A thought came to him that look at my dead body. Men invest so much time, resources, and energy in beautifying their bodies that they will leave behind. But what is more important, what is their soul, they neglect. He proceeded to take the front row of the church service. The officiating pastor was invited to come and minister, and he preached on the topic dualism, living a double kind of lifestyle. The message indeed blessed the congregation to the point that some were nodding and clapping their hands in approval to what the minister was saying. After the minister's message, tributes were asked to be read. The first to read their tribute were his friends and loved ones. They spoke highly of their friend and the many projects he has undertaken for his community, including building schools, boroughs, providing school fees for the less privileged in society. As they were listing the achievements of their friend, the entire congregation rose to their feet and clapped their hands in great approval and satisfaction for the work of this man that was laid in state. The next to give their tribute were his children. The children in the midst of their tears spoke of what their father had done for them. And as the children were speaking, many in the congregation began to weep and cry. And others were wiping their tears that were coming out of their eyes. The last person that was also asked to read the tribute was his dear wife. The wife started by saying she has lost a husband, a father, a brother, and a friend. As the wife kept saying the things about the husband, this stranger rose up and headed towards the exit of the church auditorium with tears in his eyes. He was met by an angel who asked him why he was in tears. And the answer he gave to the angel was that all that they were saying about him was not a true reflection of who he really was when he lived on earth. So the angel asked him to explain further. And he said, in respect of my friends, I personally engineered the death of three of them as a result of greed, envy, and hatred. As for my children, I mysteriously killed three of them, and the rest of them have been given a sacrifice to the brotherhood that I belong to. Oh, my wife has suffered under my hands, he said. Many of the afflictions my wife had been through was by my doings, if only she knew. And as he was ending his confession, he wished he could come back, was what he said. But the angel ushered him out of the church auditorium to a waiting car to fulfill Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27, which said, It's appointed unto man to die once, and after death judgment. My brother and my sister, you may be living a double kind of lifestyle to the point that you may be celebrated and some people around have even made you their role models and icons. But behind the scenes, that is not who you really are. You can deceive us by your pretense, but there is a God that cannot be deceived by your pretense and double way of lifestyle. For he doesn't see the way man sees. For men look at the outward appearance, but he looks into the heart of men. To this great God, night is like day to him. Listen, he is calling unto you to come. He is willing to have mercy on you and to pardon you for all your sins. You may be asking, Pastor Fred, considering all the bad things that I have done, will this great God really forgive me? And my answer to you is yes. In the book of Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18, he said, come, let us reason together. 
Though your sins be as red as scarlet, it shall be made white as snow. Though it be red as crimson, it shall also be made white like wool. So this great God is willing to show you mercy. He's willing to forgive you of all your sins. If only you will take advantage of this offer. I want to lead you in a simple prayer, if you are willing. Can you close your eyes and let's pray. Say with me, Dear Lord, forgive me for my pretense and forgive me for my hypocrisy. Wash me with your precious blood and come into my heart as my Lord and personal Savior. From today, I surrender my soul, my spirit, my body into your hands. Thank you, Jesus, for forgiving me of all my sins. Holy Spirit, come into my heart and change my life. If you have prayed this simple prayer, Jesus has come into your life. Mercy has also located you. Find a Bible-believing church and attend, and get baptized in water and with the Holy Ghost. For more of our videos, kindly subscribe to Salvation Today campaign series. Please remember that with your new nature, you can now live a life of singleness. That is, being the same outside and being the same inside. And on the day of your death, when tributes are being read about you, what they say about you will be a true reflection of who you really are. God richly bless you. My name is Pastor Fred. You're straight in